If you want to connect your camera to your computer, the quickest way, use a cam link like this. It gives a far higher quality picture than connecting via USB. And I'm going to show you the best way to set this up. When you use a cam link, your computer just sees your nice shiny camera as just another webcam. And this gives us a lot of options. We can stream. We can record without using an SD card because we're recording directly to our computer. And if you're going live on Zoom, say, you're gonna get a far higher quality of video than you would from one of those cheap, crappy webcams. So let's set this up. We've got our HDMI converter, our cam link, and we're gonna need an HDMI cable. Now, quite a lot of cameras, like this Sony camera here, they've got a micro HDMI on the camera. So you're gonna need an HDMI to micro HDMI cable. Now make sure you check, make sure you get the right HDMI cable. If you got the wrong one, that would suck. First, we just plug in the HDMI converter into our computer like that. And then, then we take the HDMI cable and plug that into the camera and then connect the other end to the HDMI converter. And as far as connecting it, well, that's it. But there are a few things that we need to change on the camera for this to work. First, we have to enable something called clean HDMI. And no, that's not what I mean. If you just connect your camera to your computer, you're also gonna get all the images that appear on the back of your camera on your video. And we don't want that. All we want is nice, clean video. If you open up your camera and then scroll through the settings till you come to the HDMI section, then what you need to do is turn off HDMI info display. Now, not all cameras have the ability to output clean HDMI. Some of the Canon cameras, for example, and I'm not sure why Canon do this, but on some of the lower priced Canon cameras, you just can't enable clean HDMI. And another thing, another thing that really winds me up. Some cameras have got this stupid 30 minute cutoff. And you know the reason for this? Tax. It's all about tax. So if you've got a camera that can't output clean HDMI or it's got this stupid 30 minute cutoff, well, you just gonna have to put up with it or get yourself a cheap camera. Something like this Sony ZV-E10. It's got clean HDMI and no stupid 30 minute cutoff. In fact, the Sony ZV-E10, this is the camera that I recommend to all my students in my pro video bootcamp. And if you wanna check that course out, I'll put a link below. Anyway, now we've got our camera set up and connected. If I say I just open Zoom, there you can see the camera, it's listed as the cam link. And that's the HDMI to USB adapter. And the video, well, that's coming in from my camera. But we can actually take this one step further. If you're really invested in creating professional looking video, I would highly recommend that you look at Ecamm. It's cheap and it's packed with features that just make it so easy to record your computer, stream to Facebook, YouTube. You can even use it with Zoom and have far more control over the quality of your video that Zoom allows you to have. In fact, I'm recording this now on Ecamm. I record all my content directly to my computer without having to mess about with with SD cards. I'd be totally lost without Ecamm. It's a great little tool. It's a total game changer. And I'll put a link below to a free trial. Anyway, lastly, let's talk about audio. Getting your audio to come in with your video through the HDMI capture card. By feeding your mic directly into your camera, you end up with your video and your audio being perfectly synced. It makes editing, recording, streaming, makes it all far easier. And if you wanna know how, how to do that, how to connect a mic like this directly to your camera and have your video and your audio coming in together, you'll wanna watch this video next.